moving so slow. It was just barely moving. There were three funnels when I looked up, three small ones, and they all went together and made one huge tornado. In the afternoon of May 27th, a deadly tornado touched down. It was to leave a trail of destruction. As the tornado approached, Al Clawson drove rapidly away from his home. It's coming right from that away, coming towards us. And after about the time it got to 305, when it started turning, it got about middle ways of this field, and then it started going due west. I've always heard that if you don't see a tornado moving, that it's, it's coming towards you. So I knew it was definitely coming in our direction. So I went inside and told my husband, it's here. So my daughter, she was pretty scared already. She had already gotten into the bathtub. We took cushions from our couch and put those over our head. My daughter got in first, and, and then I got in, and my husband was on the bathroom floor because there wasn't room for all three of us to get into the bathtub. Minutes later, an F-5 unleashed its fury on Jarrell with winds of more than 250 miles an hour. The particular day of Gerald was one of those eerie sort of days in Texas Springs. It was very, very hot, very, very humid. We had uh, seven tornadoes pop up basically on uh, a cold front that was moving southwards across uh, our part of Texas. The first one went up at about uh, 1.15, 1.30 in the afternoon, and the Gerald tornado, the last one of the seven, which was basically, they were all back building, and then the last thunderstorm became a supercell. That spit out the F5 tornado that went through Gerald. Twisters of this intensity are fairly rare in central Texas. This supercell tornado gouged a deep scar out of the landscape, five miles long, and half a mile wide. 